In the past, we talked a little bit about universal deities, deities that have complex numbers of uh, faces, uh, animal faces, wrathful deities, peaceful, um, uh, multiple arms, multiple legs, very complex iconographic forms. So we've talked about that. I think we've done two videos on the subject. Um, now, there's, there's a, a deity that we've not really talked about so I want to mention this deity, and then I want to draw your attention to a masterwork painting. So, the subject here is Varamukhi Vajravarahi. So it's a form of Vajrayogini, but with the boar's head or the sow's head. And um, this particular uh, deity has 37 uh, uh, retinue figures in the mandala. It has uh, 36 animal heads, 72 arms, and 18 legs. Now, I've not really looked carefully at the text, so I can't recall what, what color it's supposed to be. Um, but I have seen uh, very few paintings, actually. I've seen uh, uh, one that's most likely from the uh, 19th century, early 20th century, has her with a, a yellow body. Uh, no consort, just a yellow body, very complex. I've seen another modern one done in the last um, 15 years where, where she's red. But I think that's meant more for the tourist uh, art market. And then um, I've discovered one that is a minor figure. And that is Har number 87055. And it's a minor figure on a, a painting, a Nepalese painting of, uh, what, what, what should we say? Um, it's really a kind of crota or... Um, I think they prefer Raudra, Raudra Chakrasambara. So this Raudra Chakrasambara, again, is a universal uh, type deity, meaning it has uh, uh, five rows of uh, multiple stacked heads. It has uh, dozens of arms and four legs. And uh, very complex, but but definitely out of fashion. All of these are out of fashion. A lot of these universal ones, only really... Uh, possibly Sita Tapatra, um, and then maybe um, the 11 faced Avalokiteshvara, uh, and then and then Kala Chakra, but Kala Chakra is far less complicated uh, visually than, than these other ones. So I'm drawing your attention to 87055. It's a Nepalese 15th century painting, and uh, the central figure is this Raudra Chakra Sambara, very complex. And then uh, he's surrounded by small little um, vignettes of the eight cemeteries. And then there's one register at the top and one register at the bottom. And in the upper left corner, below the register, is a white chakra sambara. Then below the, uh, on the right side, uh, below the top register, is um, uh, a blue form of chakra sambara with a blue consort. And then at the lower right, is uh, Chakra Sambara holding the consort, uh, red consort of Vajrayogini, but with multiple arms, maybe eight arms. So a very unusual form. I don't even know what the name of that one would be. Now, what I want to do is direct your attention to the lower left side of the painting, and there you will find this Avaramukhi um, figure, and it's really quite unusual because it's blue in color. Um, it's blue in color, a uh, vast number of arms, two rows of figures that it's standing on underfoot. But I think one of the most interesting things about it are the arrangement of the faces. And what you will see is you will see two large horizontal rows of animal faces and then you will see above that a third tier with three bird faces and above that a single bird head. Now, this is clearly the same deity. This is the, We only have this really one Varamukhi uh, figure in Tantric Buddhism that, that I'm, I'm currently aware of and uh, based on the, the texts I've seen. I haven't seen any others. But I think it's just a, a wonderful comparison to, to be looking at, at this um, 
Now, I think we have it at, at uh, 16th century for this Nepalese painting. Now, I didn't read the inscription. Uh, somebody else might have, and uh, there might be a date in the inscription below the bottom register. So this is just a kind of a comparison on a masterwork painting. This is actually in the Philadelphia Museum of Art, uh, just a brilliant work with the central complex Chakrasambara. And then in the uh, upper register and lower register, lower register, we have a Vajracharya priest and we have donor figures. Then we have five deities, mostly I think they're identifiable. And I think in the upper register, most of the deities are identifiable as well. And they're all very popular were very popular in the 13th, 14th, 15th century, and uh, mostly they're based on the Vajravali uh, text of Abhayakara Gupta. Um, but the most interesting thing for me iconographically and the rarest form we find in this painting is this uh, blue form of Vajravarahi with all of these um, animal heads. So we'll leave it there. You can press like, you can subscribe, you can join horror on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.